Hello there, welcome back to Delight Channel. This week our conversation continues around retirement. This is um, maybe video number four on this series. Particularly last week we started our conversation around the myths surrounding retirement. You need to watch all the videos that we have released already, particularly the one for last week, because this week we'll just be building on that. For last week, I think we were able to cover four myths. Myth number one is that I am too old to start. Myth number two is that I'm too young to start. Myth number three is that retirement planning is all about money. And myth number four, as covered last week, was that my spouse, my children, will be responsible for and will take care of my retirement. Myth number five is that my company, the government, will take care of my retirement. I am certain that at least in Nigeria, most of the people watching this video will not be of this mindset. But just in case you are, please wake up. Even the federal government has stopped the pension arrangement the way it used to be. Now, pension contributory system has put the burden of retirement planning on the employee. If you are still in employment, you need to check. Check with your employer. Be sure that pension is being deducted for you. Be sure that it is being remitted. Contact your pension fund administrator, your PFA. Establish how much you have there. And the current pension law allows you to even contribute more than whatever the minimum is. You are free to put whatever amount you want to put into your pension fund if that is how you want to go about some of the financial preparation. But what I'm trying to say is, please wake up. Even those who are currently enjoying pension from government, go ask them. If you have not been watching the news, please start paying attention. Mostly all the states have one area or the other yet to be paid to their pensioners. And many of them are still earning the same salary they were earning in 1979, 1980, 1985. I'm not sure when last any state government or federal government had a review of the pension amount. So, you need to think clearly about that if you are thinking that it's my company or the government that will take care of my pension. That would be myth number five. Myth number six states that, don't worry, I don't need a lot of money when I retire. Is it not just to eat? It's only a fraction, therefore I'll be fine. Between whatever my children give me and whatever I'm able to raise, I will be fine. When we get to the DIY section, you will see the fallacy of this myth. You need to prepare for retirement such that you are in a position with leftover. Because you have no clue as to what the reality and the dimension of retirement will look like. Therefore, don't live in a fool's paradise of comforting yourself to say that, you know what? What I need is a very small fraction and I'll be fine, all right? Wake up and get fully prepared for your retirement. And the last but certainly not the least is for those who are looking forward to some form of inheritance. Whether your father is Dangote, your, your father is Otedola, or is the average homeowner, the average business owner, that mindset itself is actually the problem because it means that you are not taking ownership of your life and you are not preparing to confront whatever the future has in store for you. If your thinking is that, oh, the inheritance will be passed down from my parents or for, from anyone else is what's going to take care of my retirement, most often than not, it will not. And even if you get given those inheritance, 
This mindset is usually the reason why you may not be able to make the best use of it. Meaning that your inheritance is a good relief, is a good addition to your retirement plan, but it cannot be the retirement plan. You have to rise up, stand up, do something about it so that this myth do not get in your way of taking ownership of your life and taking ownership of what is ahead of you as far as retirement is concerned. So, by way of a quick recap, we've touched seven myths that can stand in way in the way of your taking ownership of your retirement. Number one, I'm too old. Number two, I'm too young. Number three, don't worry, I have money in stock. It's all about money. Number four, don't worry, my spouse, my children will take care of it. Number five, oh, government will take care of my retirement. Number six, I don't need a lot of money. I will be fine anyhow. And number seven, the inheritance I'm going to get will be sufficient for my retirement. Okay? It's a good point to stop this week because I will not be able to finish the facts. I have got, I got four facts to run through as things you need to be truly aware of as far as retirement is concerned and that will be the menu for next week i'm sure you want to get a seat around the table once again thanks for being here feel free to share and make it a date with me next week as we continue the conversation until then timak is still my name dila is still the channel and whatever you do don't ever forget that all we are trying to do is what make a little difference. I hope to see you next week. Bye.